Peppa Pig and the Lost Christmas List. What happened when you lost your list? I don't know. I think we need to find a way, right? Okay. It's almost Christmas, and the Peppa Pig and her little brother George are mailing their letters to Santa. Peppa's friends are there too. What are you asking for? asks Peppa.、Huh. I like a scooter, says Susie. I have asked Santa for a toy spaceship, says Danny. A toy mouse for me, please, says Emily. Rebecca wants a trumpet. Zoe has asked Santa for a ball and a pedal toy, and Candy is hoping for a jump rope. Pedro would like a guitar. Oh no! The next day, Mummy and Daddy Pig, Peppa and George go to Miss Rabbit's farm to find the perfect Christmas tree. Oh no! They look at little ones. Bigger says Daddy Pig. They look at medium-sized ones. Bigger says Daddy Pig. And they look at the biggest tree at the farm. Perfect says Daddy Pig. The tree is very big, and Daddy Pig's car is quite small. Oh, Daddy Pig's car small. Then the tree doesn't fit in it. That's right. The tree is big, but the car is small. What can they do? No worries. I will carry it home," he says. Why does Daddy Pig say she can carry it home? Because Daddy Pig really wants to carry the big tree home. It's Christmas. Peppa, George, and Mummy Pig wait a very long time for Daddy Pig. Why are they very happy? Because they want they are, they know Daddy Pig gonna bring up the tree. Finally, they see him coming slowly up the hill. Daddy Pig needs a rest. Why is he very tired? Because look, he's carrying this gigantic tree. It's very tiring to carry big tree like that. It's time to decorate. Mummy Pig puts the lights on first. Peppa adds the garland. George hangs some Christmas ornaments. Then Daddy Pig reaches way up high to put a star on the top. Wow, the tree is beautiful. Peppa sings a Christmas tree song. Little star on the Christmas tree, twinkle, twinkle, twinkle! All the little pigs on Christmas Eve go oink, oink, oink. Daddy asks Peppa, "Why does Santa come down the chimney? Why doesn't he just use the front door?" Good question, Peppa. If you see him, you should ask. But Santa won't come unless you're asleep. So up to bed you go. Time for Peppa to go sleep. George, let's stay awake all night and see Santa. Peppa says, but George is fast asleep. Well, I'm going to stay awake myself. Soon, Peppa is fast asleep too. Thump, thump. What's that? Ho, ho. Uh oh. It's windy up here. Santa checks his list and then squeezes down the chimney. It's a tight fit. Why is the chimney so small? It's just it's with a fixed size, but. It's um, sent. It's a tight fit for Santa. Santa is surprised to see two little pigs. It's me, Peppa. This is my little brother, George. I'm very pleased to meet you," says Santa. "Are those your pre- our presents?" asks Santa. "Asks Peppa. Sorry, they might be, but you you will have to wait until morning to find out." Santa, how do you know what present? Presents to give everyone asks Peppa. Well, I have a list. It's right here. Oh, it was right here. Oh dear, what has happened to my list? I have lost it. How will I know who gets which presents? I can help, says Peppa. Danny wants a toy spaceship. Emily, a toy mouse. What does Susie want? Do you remember?、Mm-mm. A scooter. Peppa remembered. Rebecca would like a trumpet. Candy wants a jump rope. Zoe asked for a ball and a pedal toy. And Pedro would like a guitar. Thank you, Peppa says Santa. You remembered everything on the lost Christmas list. You have saved the day. I must hurry now. Santa looks up the chimney. Hmm. I guess I will have to squeeze up there again. 
Why don't you use the front door? Asks Peppa. Oh, what a good idea! Thank you, Peppa. On Christmas morning, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig wake Peppa and George. Daddy, Mummy, we saw Santa, says Peppa, and look, he left us presents. George has a toy train, and Peppa has a yo-yo. <laughs> wow, that's like so cool. Why do Peppa why do Peppa say yo-yo? Peppa loves have a yo-yo. Peppa's friends arrive. I with, like this yo-yo. That's great. They got the presents they asked for too. Merry Christmas. The end.